based on the events of last um, last summer's riots, I can see where things like this will happen again if Tottenham is not recognized as somewhere to live because at present it's seen as a ghetto. We need the resources here because there's a lot of potential here and they need to be fulfilled. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, my name's Kay and I'm the BITC Business Connector. I would like to show you Tottenham High Road, the people that work on Tottenham High Road and the things that we would like to change. Change is really needed because despite all of the hard work that goes on along the high road every day, recent events and the long-term deprivation in Tottenham have really harmed the perception of this area to outsiders and we want to change that. We love Tottenham! Oh yes we do! And Gary, the football up a touch. Trying to get things back to where they were and it's, it's very important especially for the, the local traders. Obviously during the time that everything was, was happening, they lost a lot of business and now we're trying to regenerate that business for them. This is hugely important. We need to keep the attention on Tottenham, we need the trade to come back, we need investment and regeneration and we need to keep the eye and focus on what we're going to do to get this high street back to where it needs to be. My name's Chris Lane, I'm Tottenham Town Centre Manager. I'm committed with Haringey Council to work with all our partners on the high road to bring it back to its former glory. Hi, I'm Patrick Jones, I work for the Tottenham Regeneration Team. We at Haringey Council are committed to the regeneration of Tottenham and we're committing dedicated resources to make this work. People shouldn't be charged, they need to, they need to park somewhere in this place. You can't park round the front, it's too busy. Okay. So it should be left free. And, and tell them to keep it free. No, I will do. Because people need to park somewhere. Alright, will do. Good man. Alright, cheers. Thank you. Um, Iqbal Mogra, owner of a local uh, retail sports shop, uh, sports house on the high road. Uh, we have a problem with the parking uh, that the council manage and administer. A lot of it uh, has got very poor lighting um, and very poor security. Uh, the lighting that we require on the high road is more on the basis of Christmas lights to brighten the place up, to highlight the place, to make it more uh, uh, brighter, as it were, for people to, to come and visit. Okay, so right now we're in Brunswick Road car park, which is just off West Green Road. Um, if you look behind me, you'll see it's a well-presented car park. It's evening, the lights are down, and it's very dark down the end. That is not a good place to be if you are a young lady parking her car or a late night shopper. I wouldn't want to park here. It's an attractive car park, but the lighting and the signage to the car park, non-existent. It is essential to uh, get a nice car park around for the businesses, but at the moment we haven't, at the moment we haven't got enough car, enough car park. We have a couple of car parks further down, but it's not well presented, and then the, they, they don't look uh, after it. Uh -huh. we, need this, uh, we need different kind of lights that uh, Tottenham High Road would be sparkled, stands out to the customers who drive around Tottenham High Road. Hi, my name's Nicky Price. I'm Vice Chair of the Tottenham Traders. We want to do something really exciting with the light scheme here. We want to work with artists, designers, and technical experts to do the best job possible. We want to create a spectacle that gets people thinking of Tottenham in a positive light. <laughs> Excuse the pun. We want to see it. We want to light up the shops, light up the dark corners. And we want to show that we can deliver this as a partnership. Look behind me. See how dark it is. Boring shops. We want to light them up. Tottenham is also known as and seen like a dark area, which really truly is not where it is. If you live down here, you know it's not how they would portray or how it would be seen so you know as it being like a, a kind of dark area if you were to look now it looks kind of dark saying the car parks are a bit dark you know what i'm saying led lights would be very nice you know teamwork 
make streams work. When you're looking about, it's not really attracting anything. It's not like gaining any customers or anything. The place could be a bit brighter. There could be a lot more places to park at the end of the day. If people want more sort of shops than that, at the end of the day, they're like, we need to get money, more in here, money, more money. shops, invest some money in here. Like, you know what I'm saying? So the place can be a bit more bright, or attract a few more people, get the place going a bit at the end of the day. That's what we really need, isn't it? Okay, so say about the, the car park. Yeah, I used to um, park, drive, use my car to come down here to go to work, but um, I was finding it difficult to park, find parking space. Uh, what would you was... say if I told you that we want to get some money yes. to put lighting up all the way along the high roads like Christmas lights, but for the whole year? That'd be brilliant. Yeah, that'd be nice. That's not like a good idea. That's a very good <laughs> yeah. idea. Danny, it's all done at Christmas time. Right. Tottenham Traders is a partnership. The traders speaking with one voice. And meeting in partnership with council and the police.